What's up, guys? Gunner Fan, and today we are looking at um, oh, this guy. What was that? I am Gunner. Right. Well, every so often you get a message, or someone brings it to your attention. Or, you know, someone says, oh, by the way, you want to check this out? Uh, this is where you can get it from. You know, you have one of those situations and you go, yeah, okay, then cool. No worries. And then you look at the price and you think, yeah, I'm definitely going to be checking this thing out. Because uh, this thing only costs £59 shipped from America. I'm not going to say the site. I'm not going to, I'm not going to mention it. Um, but I, it was just a place where I could get this from. Now, I wanted a preload when it was a supernova, but they sold out, and then the retail market was just, just ridiculous. Don't don't overspend on one of those, um, particularly because of the feedback I've heard some people saying they're just absolute rubbish. So, But if you've got one and you love it, fair play, um, but I won't be getting a, uh, a supernova version. Um, so this is a Daban. This is my first Daban. Uh, might be my last. I don't know. Um, I'm not really too fussed about knockoffs or, um, you know, reprints or, or whatever. I mean, that, I, I don't go out of my way to do, uh, Daban stuff. Uh, anybody knows me knows that I, you know, I, I mean, really do official. And if it is a third party, it's almost like a, a licensed third party or a third party that fills a hole rather than is a knockoff um or it's an offering that you know official products have not got around to doing it so kind of you know ambiguous um but at the same time you know we all we all we all dive we all we all sell those seeds every now and again don't we let's be honest um, but Daban, I've always been quite, I don't know, they're a bit, they're a bit shady. I'm not, not really interested. Obviously there are many people that actually collect Dabans. They go out of their way to, to get the next ones and whatnot. Um, so, you know, this is my first offering. So I can't, I can't be, I'm not biased. I've got no, um, history with them. So this is going to be my first time dealing with a Daban. And speaking with my first offerings and my first experience with Daban, uh, let's get straight into the unboxing, shall we? Because <laughs> this is how it came in the box. And with the uh, instructions and and whatnot just plonked on top of the box this is it this is the unboxing so it, <laughs> like no fancy transitions and whatnot i'm not going to do any sort of like side swipes of the box because there's no artwork there's no box it's just a cardboard box with some runners in it sorry about the poor lighting it's very very dark and it's miserable outside but anyway, let's get through the runners because uh, that's probably one of the selling points of this kit because there's many. Um, oh, wow. And there's parts that are off the sprue. So this is kind of a testament to third party, right? You get what you pay for. Um, now, when I saved money, and I'm grateful I've saved money, um, because if this kit, had, if I'd paid say 80, 90, even a hundred pounds for this, and I've got it like this, I would have been pissed. But uh, 59 pounds, including shipping, um, for all this plastic and everything, uh, it's kind of taken that, that, uh, edge off. Um, so I'm gonna sort of like go, I'm going in blind. Uh, I'm taking a look at this plastic, and the plastic looks nice. It's got a pearl to it. Uh, no undergating, so there's going to be a lot of cleanup. And the posts, because um, I'm assuming these go on to armor, these posts look really sus. Like, you know when something sometimes you've got to push something in and it pops or it, the tolerance is too sharp. So what you've got to do is sort of trim down a little bit of the edge so it goes into the, the port. Um, nice and easy. It's going to be one of those situations. So the tolerances automatically are putting me on the back foot. 
and that's uh and it's ABS as well, great. So no polystyrene here or silk. Oh wow, it's kind of flexible. We'll have to wait and see. <clears throat> now, and there's one, two, wow, uh, that's six sprues. So this is probably like a winglet or something like that, because apparently this has got loads of wing parts. And these are probably all the same sprues as well. Uh, similar sort of pearly plastic. Uh, and all ABS. So if you've got any breakages with this kit, make sure you do get some ABS cement. Um, is it glue magic or plastic magic? Might work. Um, or you can get Tamiya ABS plastic, or if you've got an ABS plastic um, cement of your choice, obviously use that if you uh, prefer. Now this um, isn't ABS, but it, oh, it is ABS, also. So is this entire kit ABS? Yep, yeah, those wings are ABS. I mean, the good thing about ABS is it's strong. Um... There's a bit of flash on these parts here. That this is going every individual piece of this kit is going to need cleaning up. So I don't know whether I'm. Oh, it has got some undergating. Okay, that's cool. So yeah, there's undergating there as well, and there. So yeah. So there's gonna be some attempts at uh, a decent finish on this kit. It's a nice colour, this one. Uh, this is like a green grey. I really am sorry for the uh, the light. There we go. It's like a green grey. Um, I really like this uh, sort of colour against white. Um, this colour, white, off-white and orange. That is the official best colour scheme on any Gunpla. Oh, it comes with hardware. Okay, so we've got some nuts and bolts, um, some beam effects, which look pretty jank. Um, but luckily, um, if you're a collector, you've got a whole box full of uh, beam effects, which are going to be way better than these ones. It does come with water slides, um, by the looks of it, because of the typical uh, protective sheet over the top. Yeah, they're water slides. And some more wings. Some more like charcoal. Uh, it is got a metallic fleck in the plastic, um, and it is ABS. Like this kit is a hundred percent ABS. So there's a lot of flash and clean up uh, on these parts. Uh, some of the scribing detail is really, really wide as well with some notching. Uh, I don't know how I feel about the the mould and their processes. It's like, I don't know. I might have to re-channel them out because I don't know whether there's uh, steps inside, like multiple levels in the, in the scribing. Uh, but yeah, this is going to take a lot of cleaning up. Uh, I've, I've got to get that my head around that the fact that you know obviously this isn't a bandai kit or or a first party so but if this is a dab band and they've been around a while so you'd, you'd expect them to have like honed their their molding process uh, or their tooling um but you know whatever obviously they are cheap they are cheap and nasty uh, but there is a hell of a lot of parts on this so there's more more parts that are broken away from this sprue so i expect there to be some breakages um but again this is something i don't do regularly um i support my local vendors uh specifically gumpler.co.uk um so they can remain you know fruitful and in business and whatnot um so this is kind of like a little pro personal uh, project uh, on the side um, because as soon as I paid for it um, and I wanted to get um, another one for someone else um, they'd already shut down um, sales to the UK so I was very lucky to get this one 
Um, I don't know if you go on that site or you know the site I'm talking about. Um, they do American and uh, Canadian, European, and then they've got like another area that they ship to. And I think they've got quotas for each like region. Um, so I paid for this one, and then when I went to look and showed a price to someone else, uh, and the shipping had been like grayed out, or it wasn't even on the website. So I was very lucky to get this one at this price, so I can you know have a look at it, check it out, do this video and do a build. I don't know whether I'll build it on stream uh, or whether I'll just tinker with this uh, off offline and then paint it and, you know, do a grand hurrah. Uh, you know, I've, I've made something out of a... Uh, oh, I don't know. I don't know um, where I stand on, on this kit already. Uh, there's some um, injection molded like color gold, which is, ugh. but I like this. This is a nice matte brown um, and a matte gray and a silver with some really coarse fleck and some off white. So that's kind of cool that they, they, they too dive into multi uh, uh, color injection technology like, like Bandai. This is very nice as well. This is a nice set of colour separation. This is kind of like a a sandy a sandy grey, um, but it's got a matte. I don't know whether they put a matte coating over this um, or whether it's been or whether it's been painted. I'm not sure, but um, it's got like a matte finish. And there's some head parts and chest parts here. This is all ABS. It's crazy. They must have had a absolute metric ton of ABS polymers rather than any other lights, you know, plastics. So there's some um, joints here. I don't know. Some more. Oh, this is unbagged, so we can take a look at it out of the bag. And it does this matte feel to it. And look, I kind of like it, but it is still jank. Um, and the metallic pearl uh, and more matte or satin uh, parts. And some... Uh, I thought that was flash on there for a second. Yeah, every single part is going to have to be scrutinised. Like, literally scrutinised. Cleaned up and like put into various um compartments for like the limbs the legs the body and so on so not to lose anything you know if you've got a modeling process you're going to have to like dial it to 11 for this kit i think if you pick one of these i mean leave your comments down below if you've built one of these the flash and all the the the, the, the there's like strands of plastic on here that are just melted off the uh, off the sprue yeah let me know down below um if you've built one of these or if you're looking at getting one of these what are your thoughts uh did you enjoy the kit uh what's your experience with it did you have any breakages because um i've got a funny feeling that this might be one of the worst builds i've ever got my hands on uh, it does come with a base um, nothing flashy, um, but looks sturdy enough, nice and chunky uh, to withstand the weight. So I suppose they thought about that. There's some more stand option parts as well, as well as the clear stand. I'm assuming for like all the wings and feathers and other other bits and pieces that it can, you can display options and that. And I think that it, you can display in bird mode as well so it's got the the adapters for the flight mode so yeah no no flashy um other bits and pieces going to be quite a basic video uh just wanted to sort of have a little talk uh first hand impressions of the kit um and how i got it and yeah that's basically it guys um it's a pile of plastic that's going to turn into a wing zero custom uh of sorts um that i got cheap 
Um, so just this is kind of also like a you know bear in mind when it comes to buying these sorts of kits if you're not going to get them through a licensed vendor um, or even if they are a licensed vendor and you know they, they, they do get hold of third party kits you just got to go into them with your eyes open and say well I know what I'm doing I know what I'm getting um, and this is what to expect um because you know vendors that you know they get boxes uh or products that are damaged they then sell them a discount now this particular vendor might have got a box a bunch of these cheap from daban or china or whatever and they've gone right okay we need to ship these um we've got no box we're going to just vastly discount them just to get them off the shelf it might have been a situation like that but like I say, it's a dab band. It's my first dab band. The expectations are met. You know, I didn't go in there with it, any sort of like delusions. I knew exactly what I was going to get, and I was right. I knew I knew I was going to get this level. Um, so I'm not disappointed, but at the same time, I'm you know, I'm not impressed either. So there we are. Uh, that's that's my two my two pennies uh, rubbing them together. I am going to make some breakfast, and I will see you in the next one. Thank you so much for all the follows and subscriptions and all that sort of stuff. Really, really appreciate it. And as always, I will see you in the next one. Thanks, guys. Cause I have thirty thousand dollars in credit card debt. When they call, I tell them I can't pay it back yet. Credit card debt.